This is your Masters of the Universe read-along book. Every time you hear this chime, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now, if you are ready, we will start the story, Caverns, Caverns of, of Fear. Fear. Don't forget to turn the page every time you hear the chime. The great castle Grayskull loomed on the horizon, seeming to grin. Locked within the fortress since the time of the elders were the mystical secrets of ages past. Legend foretold that whoever controlled Grayskull's halls would gain mastery over all the forces of the universe. As dawn broke, He-Man, powerful foe of the forces of evil, raced across the plains of Eternia astride the mighty Battle Cat. For the moment, at least, the strife-torn planet seemed almost peaceful. So He-Man seized the time to give the fighting tiger a vigorous workout. What's this? cried He-Man. Why are you stopping? He-Man spied a well then, not far from the castle wall. Battle Cat wants a drink, does he? said He-Man. Just like any spoiled kitten. Perhaps I will trade you for a Wind Raider. Battle Cat growled a pitiful growl. Oh, very well, laughed He-Man, and he drew up a bucket of water. What is this I hear? As Battle Cat drank, strange sounds emerged from the well. Warriors in combat? We shall soon see. At the bottom of the well, He-Man found a rushing stream. Beyond the stream was a passage, low and dark. Caverns! exclaimed He-Man. Once, I heard it whispered that there were caves under Castle Grayskull. Caves so deep that a man might be lost in them forever. The tale is true. He-Man started toward the tunnel. Suddenly, a monstrous shape rose from the water behind him. It was Merman, the dreaded sea lord. He tried to drag He-Man under the surface of the stream. Back, you monster! shouted He-Man, knowing even as he spoke that the evil Skeletor could not be far away. But the foul sea demon clung fast. He-Man was too close to swing his power sword, but he managed to free one arm, which he brought down on Merman's head. Merman fell into the stream, stunned. The current caught him and carried him away. He-Man raced into the black and beckoning passageway. Somewhere in the caverns ahead, there was a battle going on. Moments later, He-Man found himself entering a huge underground chamber. In that chamber, He-Man saw his arch-enemy Skeletor, Lord of Destruction. He was battling the warrior maiden, Tila, who had seen him steal into the well and followed him into the caverns. He-Man! Thank heaven you're here! Tila cried. Skeletor plans to enter Castle Grayskull through this cavern. But as He-Man started forward, Skeletor's dreadful ally, Beast-Man, leaped at him from above. You'll not stop me this day, Beast-Man! Beast-Man reeled backward toward a deep pit in the floor of the cave. He teetered there for a moment and then fell. Oh! He-Man snatched his sword from the dust where it had fallen and found himself face to face with Skeletor. Once again, you interfere with my plans, He-Man. This time, I will put an end to your meddling forever. The very ground shook as the swords of power clashed in battle. While He-Man and Skeletor faced off in their struggle, Trap Jaw 
Skeletor's henchmen took Tila by surprise. <laughs> but the warrior maiden was well trained, and Skeletor's servant found that he had a fight on his hands. Soon, however, Trap Jaw regained the advantage. He seized Tila and swung around to face He Man. Yield, He Man! He threatened as his steel arm tightened around her body. Release her! Boomed a voice from the mouth of the tunnel. Trap Jaw turned to find Man at Arms approaching, swinging his mace. An instant later, Stratus, the winged warrior, soared into the cavern. With split-second timing, he lifted Tila out of harm's way. He-Man returned to the fight. He charged at Skeletor. As he swung the power sword, however, the fiendish Lord of Destruction vanished. A green mist hung where he had stood. There seemed no end to his magic powers. We are safe for now, my friends, said He-Man. Thanks to you, Skeletor has fled. He has no stomach for even fights. Still, we must make sure no one ever tries to enter Castle Greyskull this way again. He-Man's sword flashed out. Again and again he struck the stone formations in the cavern. There was a rumbling from above. The earth trembled as the walls began to cave in. The masters of the universe fled down the dark passageway to the well. Behind them, the caverns echoed and boomed as they filled with rocks and dirt. The underground passage to Castle Greyskull was gone now, sealed forever. Battle Cat was waiting at the top of the well. You are a faithful animal, said He-Man, waiting patiently all this time. A clever animal, you mean, said Man-at-Arms. It was he who found us in the forest. When we saw him alone, we were afraid for him. He led us here. So, said He-Man, a live cat is a better steed than a machine. He may need water, but there is much he can do that a machine cannot. At this, Battle Cat gave a great rumbling purr. Then the warriors parted. We've not seen the last of Skeletor, said He-Man, knowing the Lord of Destruction would strike again. We'll be ready for him, replied Tila, as a strange quiet fell over the plains of Eternia. <laughs>